Hi, first graders. Today we are going to be learning a little bit more about the Lunar New Year. As you know, tomorrow will be the first day of the Lunar New Year, and there will be a lot of celebrations all around. Let's go ahead and look a little bit at the Lunar New Year Dragon Dance. Let's see how it looks now. <coughs> Do you remember last year at Encinita when the dragons and the lions came and danced? Notice the colors they use. These colors bring a lot of good luck. As you know, red is a color of good luck. And gold is often used as well. Think about these colors and how colorful and bright the dragons look. Notice there's that, that much white left on them. Now it's going to be time for us to create our own dragons. Let's go ahead and get them together now. As you can see, everyone should have received a paper that looks just like this. Mine is yellow, so yours is white, but each of you should have got one like this. The first thing you're going to want to do is color in your dragons really good. Do your best to stay in the lines. Think about what colors you saw them use. I saw a lot of reds and yellows, but you can use your own colors too. But remember, red is the color of good luck. Now you want to really stain the lines, so you might want to use colored pencils. If you want it to be very bright, you can also bring in some markers. And of course, crayons always work great too, but you really want to stay in the lines. I'm going to go ahead and get started on coloring mine in now. You get started on yours. Pause the video and come back when you're done, or watch the video the whole way through, and then get started on your project. It's up to you. Remember, this is fun for you to celebrate the Chinese New Year. Okay, I'm going to pause my video and start coloring. Awesome, I finished mine now. So I started with them white, and I really did my best to stay in the lines and color them in. Now I'm going to choose which one I want to turn into my puppet. So I'm going to look and see which one is my favorite. And I think I really like this guy down here. So now I'm going to take my scissors and first I'm going to cut just him out like this. This will make it easier for me to work with. Then do you see the line that goes through him like that? I'm going to cut nice and carefully for a top and a bottom. This is going to be the top of my dragon, and this is going to be the bottom on my clip. Now that I have that part, I'm going to go very carefully around the lines. Remember, it helps to move your paper as you cut. It's easier than always moving your scissors. Really take your time to cut this carefully because you want your dragon to come out nice. What if you make a big mistake? Well, if you make a big mistake, choose one of your other three dragons that you colored in. Be proactive, be a leader, and make good decisions. Right? You have a lot of great choices there. And remember, it's not a contest. Just do your best and have fun. That's what's most important. Here is the top of my dragon. Now, I don't want to lose him, do I? So I'm going to take him out now, and I am going to glue him to the top side in the front, like it says. Glue the top part of the head to the top part of the clothespin gripping area. So here is my glue. You can use a glue stick too. Here's a glue stick. In fact, maybe I'll use my glue stick so it could dry faster. Here's my glue stick. and I get it out. I'm going to put a lot of glue. See how I did it? A lot. And now I'm going to take my head and just put it right on the front here. See that? So it's covering it up. That's my head. Now I'm going to put it back down to dry. I put my lid back on and I'm going to cut the bottom of my dragon. Here's the bottom now. 
I'm really gonna take my time just like before and go around it carefully. Here it is, very carefully. Remember, it's not a race. In fact, if you want to, pause the video. You can pause the video anytime you like and you can replay it as many times as you like. It will be here for you. This is just for fun. And if you have more clothespins, maybe you wanna make more puppets out of them. It's up to you. It's just for fun to celebrate the new year. How do you like to celebrate the new year? Do you celebrate it differently when it's Chinese New Year as the regular one, the other New Year? There's so many different kinds, right? I like the Lunar New Year because there's a lot of fun activities compared to the other traditional New Year's that they do in New York. I feel like it's more fun. How about you? Now, the bottom part goes to the bottom part of the gripping area. So this one is glued to the top here. Oops, I put it on the wrong side, right? The glue doesn't go in the front there. Silly Miss Elkins, it goes down here on the top. Silly Miss Elkins, right there. And then the bottom, now that I have it, is going to go right here. And again, a lot of glue. Here is the bottom like this. And really try to line them up so it looks like your dragon is opening and closing. Now you are ready for a dragon celebration, right? Isn't that a lot of fun? And if you wanted to, you could put another dragon on the back side so that way you can see both of them. I think I'm gonna do that now. And that way when I'm doing my dragon dance, both sides, the side I see and the side other people see. Get started, pick out your second favorite one. I will now. As you can see, I picked out this one as my second favorite and I'm gonna do the same thing. First, I'm gonna cut the line for the head and I'm going to cut my head out. And remember how I turned my paper as I went along? And it's okay if you go out of the line, just do your best. This is the way we become better at cutting, right? It wasn't like we were born cutting. It's something we have to practice and learn for all people. So you are no different. This is how we practice and learn. And now I'm gonna take my glue stick and I'm gonna go to the other side over here and just do the top a lot first. And I take my head again. Now this time it'll open the opposite way. You notice that? But that's okay. I don't mind. And now I'm going to cut out this bottom part. Remember, you don't have to do this. This is only if you want to have your puppet to be double-sided. It only needs to be one side. This is just in case you want a double-sided puppet like Mrs. Elkins. I just thought it might be fun. That way I can turn it and even tell a story if I wanted to, right? Like Miss Sophie with her puppet. Now you have a puppet again. Do you remember when we made a stick puppet before? Do you remember? Do you remember our stick puppets? Well, now you have a different kind of puppet. And I'm gonna take this glue and go in the bottom here again. And now look. I have two dragons, right? One on each side. Of course, I have to let it dry in order for me to play with it, right? Or else I'll lose my pieces. So maybe you made a single-sided dragon like that. Maybe you wanted to be silly and make a double-sided like this, like Mrs. Elkins did. It's up to you. Either way, have fun with it, and I hope you get to celebrate Chinese New Year. Bye, Firsties. See you again on Tuesday.